Amen. If you got your Bibles with me, turn with me if you would this morning to the book of Exodus, the third chapter. Exodus, the third chapter. We're celebrating. Amen. Remember all of our men and women who have given their lives. Amen. For our freedom and our liberty. We honor them today. Hallelujah. We want to welcome all of our live stream, YouTube, and Facebook listeners. Thank you for taking time to join with us today. We consider that a great honor and value you and value your time. And we pray God will bless you real good. Amen. Real good. God has a real good blessing for each and every one. Exodus, the third chapter, the 13th to the 15th verse. When you've got it, say, I got it. If you would, stand with me and we'll read this together and then you may be seated. Hallelujah. All right. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name, and what, what shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. And God shall moreover said unto Moses, Thou shalt, thou shalt, uh, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, we celebrate this memorial for America and all of its slaves all of its heroes and all of its soldiers, but we also are going to celebrate God's memorial today. Yes. And we're going to hear about it. God wants you to know. Yes. Amen. About it. Is that a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, I thank you for this special weekend, this special time that we, that we remember and, uh, and uh, celebrate all the lives and all the families that have uh, given their loved ones and uh, have paid the ultimate price. We honor them. We bless their memory. We thank you for the freedom and liberty that they were willing to purchase with their the blood of their lives. And Lord, that we count that not a light thing, but it is a great sacrifice, a great gift to us. We thank you for them, every one of them, some 1.3 million who have given their lives in all of our wars. We bless them and their families and all those today and this weekend. Father, we ask your blessing now upon this word. Take it, use it for your honor and your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Say so Exodus 3. Exodus 3. You know, I'm going to gonna drink a podium and I'm still doing the circus act up here. Amen. God is still a good God, isn't he? Yes. God's Memorial Day. It is surely a good thing that Americans have designated an annual Memorial Day in which we call to remembrance the great sacrifices of those who have gone before us who have fought and suffered and often died to form our nation and to preserve its freedom. Amen. Without them we would not be here today and we need to remember them. Can you say amen? I believe this Memorial Day seems to be even more special. I don't know if you're sensing the same thing. Every Memorial Day is special and honored. But this one seems to be more so. Uh, uh, I, I just feel like maybe it's because our, many of our freedoms are in jeopardy. Amen. And uh, we as a nation are fighting for uh, this nation. Amen. Uh, under God. Amen. With liberty and justice for all. Praise God. And so uh, uh, I believe that's probably part of the reason why it is more meaningful to us, uh, at least to me, more so than ever before. And as important as that is, it is even more important, however, to remember the God of our fathers. Amen? Amen. Our true author of liberty. Yes. And here in our text we can see that he has established his own memorial, warning us to remember not only our ancient spiritual forefathers, but also his great name. The word memorial is used here for the first time in the Bible, in the Word of God. 
And as you know, first mentions are very significant. Whenever you see a first mention, especially in the Word of God, take notice. Yes. Amen. It's, it's very meaningful, very special. And so we see that the first mention of memorial is used here for the very first time. Amen. And uh, let me read the text. I want to read it in the Amplified, if, you, if I might. And Moses said to God, Behold, when I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of our fathers has sent me to you, and they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said, The sovereign of God said to Moses, I am who I am, and what I am, and I will be what I will be. Uh, and he said, You shall say this to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God also said also to Moses, Thus shalt thou say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and by this name I am to be remembered to all generations. America, I call you to remember the God of our forefathers. We have forgotten that God, the living God. And I'm here today to remind all of us that we have the living God. Amen. There is a memorial to Him. Hallelujah. Without a memorial to Him, we would have no memorial day. We would have no nation. It's a nation under God. Amen. Established and founded by God. And the one who spoke to Moses declares himself to be the Lord God, the sovereign one, the self-existing one, the eternal one, the one who has always been and always will be. I am who I am. <clears throat> Excuse me, and what I am. I will be what I will be. I am the ever-present and living one. I am Jehovah, your Redeemer. I am Elohim, your Creator. I'm caused and independent. Jeremiah 1.5 says, God says, Before I formed you in the womb, in the belly I knew you. And before you were born, I sanctified you and set you apart for my purposes. Amen. You are not here by accident. You are here because God saw you in the womb. Amen. And before you were born, He has plans for you. Glory to God. Yeah. yeah. Praise Jesus. Proverbs, or Psalms 90, verse 2 says, Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed and given birth to the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Yeah. Yeah. And there is none other. Yeah. John 1. You know the verse, most of you, John 1, 1, says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word, Jesus Christ, was with God, the Father, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, and all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. <laughs> to hell with evolution. Yeah, I said that. That's where it came from, and that was where it needs to go back to. Amen. 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 That's denying the creator God. That damnable doctrine of demons that says there is no God. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. <laughs> That's not the only thing that will be on fire if you don't repent. Amen. That knowledge the creator God. Elohim. It's a theory. They preach it. They teach it as fact. It's a theory. And a bad one at that. Because little puny man wanting to be God himself. He is God. You don't need God. No, I'm telling you. I'm here to tell you. You're not God. The I am is God. You're not God. Whoever you are. There is a living God. There is a true God. And you ain't it. I'll say that with a smile. Because I may know we live and act many times like we are God. Like we owe nothing to Him. And we live the way we want. Yeah. The Bible says every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. He is King God. 
Yeah. Yeah. Not me. Amen. Hallelujah. Not King me. King God. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Amen. He's more than just the higher power and the man upstairs. He is Yahweh, the Lord God Almighty. Jehovah, Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, all of heaven's armies, and all, we are all indebted to him for our existence. Everyone is indebted to him. You owe a debt that you can't pay, and he paid a debt that he didn't know. You are indebted to this greater God. You owe your existence in the very breath. The next breath you take, you owe to this greater God. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord says, this is my memorial. This great prayer to all generations. To all generations. To the silent generation. To the baby boomers. To generation Xers. To generation Wires. To generation Zers. To the latchkey generation. To the MTV generation, to the cell phone and, 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 and oh, techies generation. Amen. Amen. To the millennials and unto all generations. We should remember him as creator every day. And especially, so I say especially, especially every seventh day when we devote, amen, we devote a day to rest and worship. He is the God who made the eternal covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Galatians 3.29 says, And if you belong, I mean, no, we're not all God's children. This is going to be a surprise to somebody. It's going to be a new revelation. We are not all God's children. I don't care who says we're all. We hear it so many times. Well, we're all God's children. No, we're all God's creation. But we're not all God's children. God's children are those who through Jesus Christ, God's Son, have received Him as Savior and Lord, and by receiving Him, God becomes their Father. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And they receive eternal life, and a new heart, and a new life. Yeah. Hallelujah. All their sins are forgiven. Yeah. No, not everyone is a child of God. I wish they were. Hallelujah. It sounds good. And I may know everything that sounds good is not necessarily good. Yeah, amen. Come on, yeah. Come on now. It says that if you belong to Christ, if, do you belong to Christ? If you belong to Christ, if you're in Him, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Yes. Ooh. He mentions Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because there is the covenant God made, an eternal covenant with them that is for us. Yeah. By faith, we be Abraham's seed also. And the blessing of Abraham is ours today. Glory to God. If we belong to Christ, my prayer today is that you will belong to him. Amen. That you will receive him and accept him. As your personal Savior. Yes. Those who have accepted Him. If you haven't done that, I invite you today to ask Him to come and be your Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. It's the greatest decision you will ever make. The one who forgives all of our sins and gives you a new heart, a new life, and eternal life for the asking. Amen? Amen. And that leads me to another reason. To remember the Lord for His work. <coughs> and that is Jehovah, the Redeemer. By the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Yes. He has bought our redemption. Yes. That is a memorial. Amen. To what he did. Amen. When he became a man and died to save us from our sins. He established a memorial supper. Which we call communion. Saying this do in remembrance of me. This do make this a memorial. We don't just do traditions. This is a memorial to God for His Son who gave His life yeah. and all who have given their lives, amen, yeah. as an example of the one who gave His life for the entire world. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thus, when we observe each weekly Lord's Day and also whenever we partake of the Lord's Supper Communion, 
We are really observing a special Memorial Day in His honor. Yeah. Remembering His great name unto all generations. Amen? Amen. Amen. We want to do that now. And uh, in commemoration of our Lord and Savior's great sacrifice and suffering, His death, burial, and resurrection from the dead, while we prepare to partake, the congregation here has already received their little chalice, their cup of the red and the wine, uh, the grape juice. We want to invite all who are watching, give you a chance and listening to get a little cracker, a piece of bread, or some juice, and to celebrate this memorial, this God's Memorial Day, on this American Memorial Day. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we'll give you a moment to do that. It doesn't matter if it's grape juice or not. I may know anything will work. It's symbolic. Somebody say it's symbolic. symbolic. It's symbolic of the broken body and the blood of Christ. Yes. Water would do. Yes. It's taking it with understanding that He paid the ultimate price for our salvation and eternal life. Amen? Amen. Symbolic of His body and blood that He shed for us. And so we're going to wait a few moments for you to get those elements. This is the Lord's table. It's not my table. It's not this church's table. It's not any denomination's table. It's His table. I said it's His table. You don't have to be a member here or anything else. But you do need to be born again. You do need to have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Amen. And so this morning we're going to, on this Memorial Day weekend, we're going to partake and break bread with, with God. Amen. With His presence, His Spirit this morning. The only part is if you've accepted Him as your personal Savior. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right. Bless the Lord. I want to, as we are, I want to read to you Luke, 22nd chapter, the 19th verse. speaks of this it says to us he says and with desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer for I say unto you that I will not any more eat this thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God and he took the cup and gave thanks and said take this divide it among yourselves for I say unto you I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come and he took the bread and he gave thanks and he broke it. And he gave it unto them saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. This is also called the Eucharist. Amen. Some call it the communion. Some call it the Lord's Supper, the Eucharist. The Eucharist means to give thanks and to say a blessing. Amen. That's what we're doing this morning. It's what the Jewish people have said over the ages has said over the bread for ages. It's what the Messiah said over the bread. It's the Hebrew blessing known as the Matzah. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. So it is not the bread, but it's the blessing of thanks he gave over the bread. Are you with me? We confuse the bread with the blessing and the thanks. Life is not about things. What does it tell us? It tells us life is not about things. Amen. It tells you that your life does not consist of objects, but of the blessings you say over them. The thanks you say over them. Are you with me? You see, it doesn't matter how much or little you have on earth. What matters is how much thanks you give for what you have. Mm -hmm. The one who is rich in possessions but poor in thanksgiving is in the end poor. And the one who is poor in possessions but rich in giving thanks, that one is rich. It was the symbol of his suffering and death. Yet he spoke a blessing over it. And he gave thanks for it. And for those who give thanks in all things, in all things they have the power to turn curses into blessings. And sorrows into joy. If you will give thanks. Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he gave thanks. Life can betray us in a lot of different ways. Are you hearing me? People have been trained in all kinds of different ways. Relationships, situations, promises broken, whatnot. Jesus was betrayed by one of his inner circle. Someone he loved and pretended to love him. But loved money more than him. The 
same night in which he was born. He gave thanks. I mean, no, that takes grace to be able to give thanks when you're going, when you're going through something like that. When you know somebody's betraying you at that very moment, and he gave thanks. And by giving thanks, he was able to turn that curse into a blessing. If we will give thanks in everything, in everything give thanks, he said, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Give thanks. Amen. It's the power of the Eucharist. And I thank God today for what he's doing in this memorial supper for all of us today. Amen. Amen. You'll take your cup and the bread. We're going to partake. You there at home, partake together. Amen. Amen. If we could have a little music, that would sure be nice. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit loves music. Hopefully we won't get paid for it. Amen. My face to Hallelujah. Tell somebody next to you, wake up. Joy is here. Joy is here. Amen. God is here to us. So we don't need to increase what we have. We need to increase our thanks for what we have. Amen. Would you agree with me on that? Amen. Father, we take this bread. He said he, he gave thanks for it. Would you do that in your own way this morning? Would you give thanks? Just say, Lord, I give thanks for this symbol of your broken body so that I could be whole, so that I could be mended, so that my brokenness could receive wholeness and could receive healing. Father, I speak to every broken place. And I want to thank you that he was broken for us so that we could be whole. I speak wholeness right now. Every broken place in our lives. I declare the healing power of God right now, right now, right now. Let's take that bread in honor of our God. And he took the cup and he gave thanks. He said, this, this is my blood which is shed for you for the remission of sin. He says, drink all of it. <coughs> receive all of it. Why did he say drink all of it? Because sometimes we only receive a part of his forgiveness. And then we beat ourselves up. Come on. We need to drink all of it. Receive all of his forgiveness. You don't have to pay for your, your sin. He paid for it already. <coughs> you don't have to beat yourself up. You just need to receive it. Somebody say, I receive it. Ah, I receive it. Thank the Lord. Let's take this, this cup, this blood. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Let's drink this, this wonderful uh, symbol of, of His shed blood for our salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for this memorial. We give you praise for the for God's memorial today. This is my memorial, you say, for all generations. We pray for all the generations. Would you pray with me? We pray for all the generations. Xers, Yers, Ears, Boomers, whoever they are, whatever age group they land in, we pray that they would remember and, and make God's memorial in their life. In Jesus' name, right now. I pray that you will draw every every attention, every person to attention to what you're doing, that you have a memorial as we celebrate our American memorial this weekend. We give you praise and give you glory and give you honor. We thank you for the life that you're bringing now. We thank you that in these elements there is life. By faith we take them and we thank you. We receive healing and health and wholeness. We thank you for life in every manifestation in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.
Church, I want you to agree with me now as we we go to uh, Facebook and a YouTube uh, a special. I'm going to have to say good day and happy Memorial Day to all of our YouTube and, and, and uh, Facebook listeners. Uh, we're going to close our service though by praying for you. And Lord, you encourage you. We're about to see a, uh, a Star Spangled Banner story uh, by the First Presbyterian Church there in Hinesville. You can access that. You can search that on, on Facebook. Uh, and you can also enjoy that. Uh, we cannot share that because of copyright issues. But uh, it will be a blessing to you. The Lord put it on my heart. We're going to uh, receive it here in just a moment. And also, Bill and Gloria Gaither. Uh, they have a live, a few good men and women. Amen? Amen. And you will be blessed. And so again, we encourage you to search the, uh, the web for the Star Spangled Banner story. It will be a blessing to you. And also Bill and Gloria Gaither's A Few Good Men uh, concert live. In Jesus. Congregation, let's agree together and pray for our Facebook and YouTube listeners. <laughs> Father, we agree together right now. We thank you for each one that has taken time to log on to listen to what you're saying today that you have a memorial and we celebrate that memorial we have and we will continue we pray father that this memorial day american memorial will be even more meaningful because of our celebration today of the one who gave his life jesus christ we pray that you'll bless every every facebook and every youtube listener now bless them their families father we pray that this weekend will be a special time and a special day for each one of them. We pray, Father, that you will have spoken today and touched someone's heart to know that there is more than this. There is more than this. We want to thank you for it. And if this is all there is, then we are all men most miserable. But this is not all there is. God has much, much more for you, every one of you. And we pray his blessing and that more upon your life. God bless you. We love you. God be with you. Enjoy, we pray, and save Memorial Day weekend. Amen. Happy Memorial Day. Amen.